Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Yes 101's Visual Radio for the News First team. I'm Dithmini De Silva. News First headline. Japanese Foreign Minister to visit Sri Lanka. Air Asia Consulting, not Air Asia, is bidding for Sri Lankan Airlines. Drugs worth 6 billion Indian rupees seized on way to Sri Lanka. Lincoln arrives in Saudi Arabia to discuss Israel normalization post war Gaza. And in sports, Tanzit earns maiden Bangladesh T20 call up for Zimbabwe series, Saifuddin returns. Now for the news in detail. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Japan, Yoko Kamikawa, is scheduled to undertake an official visit to Sri Lanka from the 4th to the 5th of May. During this visit, the Japanese Foreign Minister is scheduled to pay curtsy calls on President Ranil Vikramasinghe and Prime Minister Dinesh Kunwardhana. The Japanese Foreign Minister and her delegation will have official discussions with Foreign Minister Ali Sabri during this visit. The Foreign Minister will be accompanied by senior officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan. Moving on to more local news, recently Sri Lanka's state-owned enterprise restructuring unit announced that six requests for qualifications were received for the acquisition of shares of Sri Lankan Airlines. These RFQs were received from the following parties, Air Asia Consulting, Sendirian Berhad, Darshan Elite Investment Holding Private Limited, Fitz Aviation Private Limited, Sharisha Technologies Private Limited, Treasure Republic Guardians Limited and Haley's PLC. Capital A CEO Tantri Tony Fernandez clarified last week that it will be Asia Consulting, not Air Asia, that is bidding for Sri Lankan Airlines. Capital A Berhad's unit Air Asia Consulting Sendirian Berhad is the entity that is bidding to acquire Sri Lankan Airlines and, if it materializes, will raise its own capital for the acquisition. Moving on to other local news, the Indian Coast Guard seized 86 kilograms of suspected heroin worth 6.02 billion rupees from a Pakistani boat which was on its way to Sri Lanka via Tamil Nadu off the Poor Bandar coast in Gujarat and arrested 14 crew members. The drugs were seized during a joint ICG operation with the Anti-Terrorist Squad and the Narcotics Control Bureau during which the Indian side opened fire injuring one of the crew members. All the 14 accused are residents of Las Bela in Pakistan's Balochistan. Meanwhile, the boat and its crew members are being brought to Poor Bandar for further probe. For more on this story, visit www.newsfirst.lk. International News Moving on to international news, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Saudi Arabia today, the first stop in a broader trip to the Middle East to discuss issues including the governance of Gaza once the war with Israel ends. The top U.S. diplomat heads to Israel later this week, where he is expected to press Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to take the concrete and tangible steps U.S. President Joe Biden demanded this month to improve the dire humanitarian situation in Gaza. In Riyadh, Blinken is expected to meet with senior Saudi leaders and hold a wider meeting with counterparts from five Arab states, Qatar, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Jordan, to further the discussions on what governance of the Gaza Strip would look like after the war. Sports News Moving on to sports news, in cricket, Bangladesh have called up Mohamed Saifuddin for the first three T20s of the five-match series against Zimbabwe. The squad also includes left-arm spinner Tanvir Islam, all-rounder Afif Hussain, and opening batters Tanzid Hassan and Parvez Hussain. Left-handed opener Tanzid, meanwhile, has gotten a maiden T20 call-up. He has played 15 ODIs since his debut last year. He had a de decent BPL campaign but was not part of the T20s against Sri Lanka last month. And with that, we wrap up this edition of Yes 101's Visual Radio. For the news first team, I'm Dithmini De Silva.